people, most of you are probably going to think, what the hell am I doing? It's a uh, Super Mario Land game for it's gonna be honest with you this game has such a major impact in my life that if it was not for Super Mario Land I would have definitely struggled all throughout high school now I did struggle in school during the later years but during the beginning I was a great student the reason I struggled with school in my later years was simply more to do the uh, hitting it not wanting to be there. If it wasn't for this game, I probably would have dropped out of school. I probably wouldn't be an avid reader. I probably wouldn't have written my book. My pretty much entire life was changed due to this game. It's about time I give credit where credit is due. This is Super Mario Land. And I am playing it with the Super Nintendo controller. Which feels a little off, but oh well. It's about time I explain. I was pretty much deaf for most of my, um, early childhood and my parents thought that I was just a uh, bratty kid. They never, it never occurred to them that the reason I was um, ignoring them and not doing as I'm told, they thought I was just ignoring them. Truth is, it wasn't because I was ignoring them, it was because I wasn't able to hear them. And this is during the um, child's life of when they're learning to um, speak. Now something happened, I think there was a loud bang that startled them and my sister was crying but I wasn't. And it wasn't until a loud bang in the apartment or whatever my parents realized, you know? Maybe he's not a brat, maybe he just can't hear. Turns out... I had water in the ears and was unable to hear pretty much anything. So I had surgery to remove the water in my ears and this is around my the age of um four, five maybe. Anyways, it turns out that I was deaf during the um child developmental years of learning to speak. Because of this, when I first started grade two or kinder grade one or kindergarten I had the development so speech developmentalness of maybe a um two or three year old and I was about four or five all the more reasons I was a loser in my classes because I fell to first grade because of this literally Due to not being able to speak properly, I failed the first grade or kindergarten or whatever it was. Now, you might be thinking, what are you, an idiot? Well, the truth was, yeah, I was an idiot. I probably should have been in a special ed class, but my parents um, took me out of the special ed class in a public school and put me in a private school where, you know, I was unable to um, keep up for the first year because I wasn't able to speak. After failing the first grade, it's um, summertime. My parents brought me a Game Boy. Damn it, I did not want to lose that mushroom. It feels weird playing this on a Super Nintendo controller, but anyways. 
I failed the first grade because I was unable to understand anything as to what the hell was going on. It didn't help that because I was pretty much the um, retard in class all the other kids picked on me. So anyways, my parents brought me a Game Boy and I got this game, obviously, and Tetris, which I ignored. I was more interested in Super Mario Land than Tetris. So anyways, I am fascinated by the, um, what was in the manual of Super Mario Land, and I asked my dad to read it for me. Turns out he refused and said I had to read it myself. <coughs> and that is where the major impact changed, because I was unable to read during this point in time. And yet something clicked when my dad said that I had to read it myself. So I did. I went from being unable to understand anything about reading to reading War and Peace shortly afterwards. Something clicked in my head. I ended up reading everything. I ended up thoroughly enjoying reading, I ended up thoroughly enjoying writing. And it never would have happened if not for Super Mario Land. Some people say video games make kids idiots. If anything, it made me smarter. I would have never read anything if not for Super Mario. I would have never enjoyed reading. I probably would have been burgling a litter and was my life if not for Super Mario Land. I probably would have dropped out of high school or barely passed if not for Super Mario Land. I definitely would have, have written my um, book if not for Super Mario Land. Which I am obviously failing at. So yeah, my life would have been drastically different today if not for Super Mario Land. It's about time I gave this game credit where credit is due. Damn it. Obviously, I'm going to be replaying this and not talking because I am finding this very difficult to uh, play and talk about and talk about this game at the same time. But alas, if it wasn't for this game, I would have never written my book. I probably wouldn't have read anything beyond high school. I'd probably be, be um, borderline illiterate. My life would have changed, would have been completely different. If not for this little Game Boy game. I would have, well I always did hate school, but I would have, um, probably refuse to, uh, I probably, I probably would have flunked out of school or um, just simply failed, if not for Super Mario Land. I kid you not, this game had that much of an impact in my life. This game is what made me a reader. This game is what made me a writer. This game is what pretty much, um, almost made me who I am today. Now, obviously, there are more factors than, you know, 
Super Mario Land. But the truth is, if it wasn't for this game, I'd be a completely different person today. Damn it. Game over. I fail. Start. You know what? Fuck it. Let's save this for another.